Well, we got our friend Dave Wyman here, so naturally let's talk about the wide receivers. <laughs> Sounds Actually, good to me. off camera before, refreshing break. Our man Paisley asked if you ever get tired about talking about defense all the time. Now, don't give him now. Don't give us now the answer you gave him. But do you ever get tired of talking about defense all no, the time? No, not really. I mean, I'll talk about whatever you want to talk about. No, I want to I like football. I mean, shoot, I sit around and talk about it, and my wife is like, yes, honey, she gets bored. <laughs> you know, at least you'll listen, and sometimes I, I get paid to do it, actually. You know, it's funny. It's actually what I use to, to stop conversations with my wife. Yeah. <laughs> and she does it with me, too. She does it the same way. If she wants to, wants to get me out of the room, she'll start a sports conversation. Uh-huh. And I'm like, you really want to talk about this? And, right. and if I'm the other way around, it's, it's the football conversation. But we did talk about defense a lot today. And and why not? And, and part of this, and part of what you're doing is, is calming a little bit. I, I got a sense of that today. You know, you look at that Minnesota game, and, and the, the sense was, geez, what a disastrous day. And, and, and it was really lucky the offense scored so many points because the defense really had their problems. And, you know, you, you made the point on a couple of things statistically that, you know, Adrian Peterson had a great day, but the defense didn't have that many problems, really. Yeah, well, I think you have to temper it with that. The other thing is, you got to remember, I, I, to me, it feels way worse when you get run on. It's more of it's more humiliating. It's more uh, you feel like you're really getting whipped when somebody throws the ball down the field, completes a deep pass. It doesn't feel that bad. I know if that from being a linebacker and being on the field. When you're getting run on, you feel like you're getting physically manhandled. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, that's what the problem was, I think, the other day. And so yeah, some overreaction to it. But you know, even I overreacted to it because I remember what it was like to have a guy run like that on you. It feels terrible, but at the end of the day, it was 300 yards of uh, of offense, and they're still what number five right and uh, they're number three in the sack category I thought they did a great job the week before we talked a lot about third down well they came up big on third down they got a turnover and they got three sacks in that situation and they held them to three for ten on the conversion rate so as I predicted last week I think that is starting to come back you know it's just sort of an anomaly and it will start to fix itself but I think the next big thing for this defense to be great is that they got to get some turnovers yep. those are the most meaningful plays and you look at that Chicago Chicago Bear defense. That's what you think about. So if they can get that going, then they can truly become that elite defense. I love. I think you said this on, on the huddle a couple of weeks ago when uh, you get a defensive coach tell you what you know what your job is, and your job is to get the football. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. What's the number one goal of defense? Uh, stop. Yeah, I was asked that one time. And like, it's uh, stop the run. Stop them. Uh, get a punt. Make them punt. You know. But no, it is. It's about getting the ball. Getting the ball for your offense. And we mentioned that Chicago Bear defense. Lovey Smith since yeah. he's been there and. 2004, they're up to like 295 turnovers or something Amazing. like that. Amazing. But that's when you become really effective and really elite as a defense. And so, you know, I'm not so sure how you do that. You you go out there and you focus on it. You try to strip the ball. You try to jump routes and things like that. But one of the things you have to do is when you get an opportunity to make a play like Earl Thomas has had a couple times this year, you've got to make that play. You've got to go make that play. So I think those, hopefully the turnovers will start to come. They went plus two the other day mm -hmm. and that put them back to zero. So that's good, um, but uh, it'd be nice if they could get more. I'm with you. Turnovers. We need more. Not Apple turnovers. The ones on the football <laughs> field.